Hi there, I'm Ellie from Smart Apps for Kids and I'm going to show you a demo of what this app looks like on the inside. When you've seen enough, click this icon to subscribe to our channel. We get to have a unicorn party for every hundred new subscribers we get. Here we go. Welcome to Toto Maths. Now, what you are about to see is a very, very impressive math program for the early years. I'm just going to show you what's in it so that you can see for yourself. So I'm going to start a new user. So I'm going to put me in and you can change these accessibility options, which is pretty cool. And you can also choose your level for your daily adventure. So you could put your birthday in and then you could choose whether you're doing kindy prep, kindy practice, first grade prep or first grade practice. So I'm going to do that to show you and click OK. And then I'll press create and then I will press go. And so there are daily games here to reinforce what you've learned in the rest of the programs each day. So 10 to 15 minutes worth of math every day to just reinforce what you're doing. You have got a mission which works your way through all of the different uh, sections of the program. But let's have a look at the free choice so we can see all of what is in here. So you have got the counting ones, the number operations, mathematical reasoning, Time and money, geometry. So where shall we start? Let's start with geometry. You've got shape tracing, so that's very good for the early years. I'll show you one of each. We'll press start. Shape tracing. So it says draw and trace 10 common shapes. Triangle. And you can see up here there are four of them to do. Circle. Square. And it gets incrementally harder the further on you go in each section. There we go. So that's number one. Here's number two. Shape tracing. So now we've got a rhombus. Rhombus. And an oval. Oval. And a hexagon. Hexagon. And a trapezoid. Trapezoid. A parallelogram. Parallelogram. And a star. Star. Brilliant. Now let's go out of here. There's more to do, but we're going to go to falling shapes. Full of shapes. Make the shapes disappear by identifying them. So as you can see, we've got these. We can work all our way through. Falling I'm only going to show you a few of each. Find all the triangles. Find all the doing? triangles. <laughs> And it's a cool little game Find that falls down there. Find all the squares. Doink, 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 doink. Oh, missed one. <laughs> I was falling asleep. Find all the circles. There. Done. And we can do the next section. Falling shapes. Find all the rectangles. And as you can see, this is much harder to find all the rectangles. Because they're big and they're little. Find all the triangles. Find all the circles. There. Okay, let's go back, back, back. Okay, now we'll do it later. Let's go back. And we've got days of the week, train time, Ferris wheel, keep the change. Let's have a look. Let's start with days, days of the week. Days and weeks. Days and weeks, sorry. So here we go. We Tuesday. can put Tuesday in here. Saturday. They pretty much fall into place Saturday. at the moment. Friday. Wednesday. Sunday. Monday. Thursday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I'll go on because we don't want to do the next. Days and weeks. <laughs> do the whole song, otherwise we'll be here for a while. And as you can see here, we can put in. December, August. We can put in August. all the months in the correct place. Days and weeks. And now we've got a calendar and we can put all the numbers in our calendar Six. as well. 30. First. 28. Can you see how that works? Let's go back and have a look at this one. Days and weeks. So here we've got. 23rd. All right, let's go back. And train time. This is pretty cool too. Train 
time. Now what you're seeing is this at the beginning, at the very easiest level. So I can see a two there. So it's two o'clock. Two o'clock. And six o'clock. Six o'clock. And five o'clock. And this goes five on to add o'clock. Thirty pa thirty minutes past and quarter past. Etc. Etc. It gets very complex as you go on. The Ferris wheel also gives you counting in ones and fives, so oh, like a Ferris an analog wheel. clock. And then one falls off at a time, but by the end they all fall off, and you have to find them. Twelve is always at the top. Okay, we're gonna go back, 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 and keep the change. Practice your money skills by sorting and counting coins. Okay, a penny. Is it? Is it a nickel? Is it a dime? Is it a quarter? Quarter. <laughs> this one looks like I have no idea because I live in Australia. Nickel. This is not my currency, so I don't know. But you Americans will have some idea, I'm sure. Penny. I can also just use the pictures on them to help me dime. figure it out. But that would be too easy. Dime. <laughs> Keep the change. And now we've got a selection of them at a time. All right, let's go back. Oops, no, too far back. Sorry, free choice. Now we've got the mathematical reasoning, which is one of my favourite areas. The word grocery. Word grocery. Find me a pepper. Okay. Uh huh. We call it a capsicum here in Australia. Find me a potato. Here you are. Here's your potato. Uh -huh. I need an eggplant. Here you are. We also okay. call them aubergines. Find me an onion. Uh huh. So you can see what's happening here. Let's go back, give me back, back. Give me a... I'm not giving you a carrot at the moment. Going to go on, we're going to have a look at patterns. Patterns. Okay, so we need to bump one of these on the end to complete our pattern. Now just for fun, let's go back and let me choose one of the higher ones. Sorry, one of the higher ones that are unlocked. Patterns. So that you can see where it can head to and how it can get incrementally more difficult. So before it was just pictures, now we are adding, oh look we're adding up in tens with a one on the end. So this is a big jump from what we saw before. Oops sorry, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that was right. Excellent animations. Okay, there's so much to show you. Let me see what else we can do. I do love the matrix. The matrix is very cool. Matrix. So here you have to look horizontally and vertically to see what belongs where. So this is a combination of that, and this is a combination of that and that. And here we've got this kitty with this door, and this piggy with this door, and this piggy with this door. Going back. Same or different a little farm. We're just going to skip them for now because we're going to go up to some of these higher ones. Now there are lots in here. Light it up. Arrange the building blocks on the number line to match the equation and reveal the answer. Light it up. Okay, so we have got one plus what equals. So we've got three here. And press the tick. And they light up. Three plus, so we've got three blocks. We need to make it add up there on the number line. And when we're sure, we press the tick. Let's go back. And let's pick another one at random. How about Equation Maker? Equation Maker. Okay, so I like this one. So we are matching here to here. To here. So we're making the equation in pictures 
and in numbers. One plus one equals two. Excellent. Two plus two equals four. All right, we're going on. Let's go and see maybe some, let's have a look at the hundred board because I love a good hundred board. This one's been updated. Board quiz. Okay. Find four. Okay. Do I need to drag it over here? Find 19. All right, these are a bit easy at the moment. So let's try right at the top level. Board quiz. Let's see how I go. This number is two less than 25. Okay, there's 25, two less. Here we go. Brilliant. This number is three more than 59. So here's 59, 60, 61, 62. Three more. Excellent. Let's go back, 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 back. And let's go even further back and let's have a look at the daily. Our daily. Let's skip the tutorial. And let's do this. And let's see what it is like at year one, one level practice. Plus two. Okay. Three. So I can drag the number block there. Two. Plus two. Or I can practice drawing my numbers Four. and pressing tick. Three. Plus two. Five. Four. Plus two. So this is your 15 Six. minute of math Five. a day to reinforce what you've been learning. It's brilliant. Plus it changes two. every day. Oops, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so you can do new things every day. I mean, you can do 10 to 15 minutes of maths a day. That's easy. Okay, what's this one? Quick facts. Quick facts. Right, one plus one. Two. Two minus one. One. I can even draw them if I want to. Oops, then I have to Three. tick it. One. Oops. Four. I don't know that I'm very good one. at quick maths. Oops, oops, oops. Five. I'm not very good at quick maths. One. Brain. Six. One. Seven. One. And you can see we can go all the way here and then we collect a monster. Equation right. maker. Ooh, equation maker. Oh, this is what we did before. So we need six mushrooms up there to match that, and one number here, and one seven here. One plus six equals seven. Okay. One here plus nine is ten. And I need nine apples, three groups of three. One plus nine equals ten. There, five plus one. I need five strawberries. And the answer to the strawberries is six. Five plus one equals six. And I need one number here. And I need oh, oh, eight mushrooms. No, hold on. See, they're grouped differently just to confuse me. There. One plus eight equals nine. And one more here. Four. We need some nuts here two to make all. Two plus two equals four. And five plus three equals, hold on, we're grouping it here. So we need five corns and three corns. Five plus three equals eight. Okay. So you can either look at the little dots down here and add them up, or you can look at the numbers and add them up. Three. Four, two, four, five, three. Okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go all the way back. So you can see here, you can do a mission, which is just like this here, the Harvest Fun Hour Daily, but it's more involved, obviously. Down here is the collection where you put your monsters as you collect them. And they have achievements unlocked down there. You've also got your personal information about what you've been doing, how long you've been learning it for. 
My pace is a wheelbarrow pace. Oh, I thought I was doing pretty well. You can turn on off a whole heap of things here. So you can see this is an incredibly complex program, very, very thorough, and it's actually really entertaining to play, which is really important when you are trying to learn and teach maths. So if you haven't already looked at it, please check it out. It is a fantastic program. Todo Math. Now don't go without clicking on our Smart Apps for Kids links for great reviews, free apps every single day and the best giveaways.